In this video, we'll count down our picks for the top 10 Chinese historical dramas with funny and romantic stories. Recently, several of the latest Chinese dramas with cute and funny love stories have officially aired. Now, you don't need to be afraid of your gloomy day. This kind of refreshing story can really relieve your stress. Moreover, the story with the background of ancient times has beautiful costumes. Before we dive into our other lists, make sure you click subscribe and like to stay with us and get more content like this. Thanks. The Imperial Coroner Young girl Chu Chu came from a family of coroners. She meets Prince Xiao Jin Yu, a dignified prince in charge of criminal lawsuit who appeared weak and sickly. Prince Xiao lacks reliable manpower to investigate the case, while Chu Chu lacks people to step up, take charge, and be a man. Together, they manage to unravel a shocking case that has dragged on for 18 years. After solving the case, she won the emperor's approval and is finally certified as the imperial coroner, fulfilling her life goal. Wonderful fate. It tells the story of the 19-year-old girl, Li Fuzhu, who loves reading comic books. Due to her poor marks in exams, her mom always scolds her. Then, she made a wish to travel to somewhere else. After she made the wish, she was incredibly traveled into the world of her favorite comic books. There, she met the young emperor Yun Yi, and their hilarious yet fantastic love story begins. Ni Chang. A story that follows Xie Xiaoni, the daughter of a silk merchant who loses her family due to a conspiracy. Determined to stand on her own, she works on improving her skills to make a name for herself. Along the way, she finds love in Ouyang Ziyu. As the daughter of the Xie clan, Xie Xiaoni spends her life preparing to succeed the family business to become a female merchant. However, the Xie clan falls to ruin after being framed by their rival, the Su clan. Xie Xiaoni survives and vows to clear their name and revive the Xie clan. She enters the Jiangnan Yunjin Manor under the pseudonym Ni Chang to learn embroidery skills. Years of training allows her to gain a foothold in the industry. However, the Su clan becomes aware of her intentions and attempts to silence her for good. Oh Yang Jiyu, who has been in love with Ni Chang. Love like white jade. Shui Wuxia, a maid at Langya Pavilion gets engaged with Jiang Manor to assist Mr. Zhuo's studies and martial arts training. The proud and valiant Shui Wuxia clashes with the arrogant and playful Jiang Baiyu. Both also hide a secret. Shui Wuxia is looking for her long-lost twin brother, while Jiang Baiyu is looking for the cause of his father's death. Faith brings them together. Jiang Baiyu changes his wanton habits and Sui Wuxia starts to see his sincere and determined heart. Finally, the truth is revealed. 
the one who captured Sui Wuxia's brother and killed Jiang Baiyu's father, is the same person. In the face of crisis, they work together and unveil the schemes of the perpetrator, returning peace to the citizens of Jiang continent. The Love by Hypnotic For a diplomatic marriage, Princess Li Mingyue of Shi Yue is sent to the neighboring state of Beishuan to marry Prince Zi Li Qian. Although Qian is extremely disciplined, Mingyue is a free-spirited and adventurous which leads to bad first impressions. Reluctant to get married, the two starts pushing off the other and bickering to break the engagement. While attempting to use hypnosis to manipulate Qian, Ming Yue accidentally triggers lost memories from his past. Curious about the cause of his amnesia, Qian proposes a marriage of convenience on the condition that Ming Yue helps him regain his memories. Oblivious of the fact that his own brother Li Shun is trying to prevent him from remembering and is scheming against him for the title of Crown Prince. Meng Fei comes across. A story revolving around the mischievous concubine, Meng, who starts out at odds with the king but falls in love with him in the process. Because of constant disagreements with Bu Meng's father, the king decides to let off some steam by picking a bone with Bu Meng one day, but unexpectedly becomes attracted to her unique personality. He starts to purposely create opportunities for them to meet that are brushed away by Bu Meng, who tries to avoid him as much as possible. Your Highness. The main protagonist is Qin Zan, an avid player of a popular online game called New Demigods and Semi Devils. It's both an actual game in China and a well loved classic wuxia. Qin Zan time travels into the game that he's been playing for 10 years and gains incredible powers as a result. However, he also becomes the number one enemy of the entire martial arts world and must face the dangers and conspiracies that are thrown in his way. Su Yu It mainly tells the mutual love between Mu Ju Chen, the young owner of Qian Yun Mountain Villa, and his right hand assistant Qian Yu. But they are unable to fall in love due to the disparity in identity. And of course, Mu Ju Chen suddenly admits to himself that his feelings for Qian Yu just might be deeper than he first thought. Actually, there just would be no living without her. Now, how to convince Qian Yu that they really do belong together? Can Mu Ju Chen truly come down off of his high horse and prove he can change? Lovely Swords Girl The setting of the protagonist, mentally handicapped boy, is very interesting. Although Gong Yuan Xiu's IQ is a three-year-old child, he has a spoiled wife named Yu Sheng Yu. The lines in the play are funny, very modern, spoken, full of laughter, and it's super fun to chase after. 
Set in a fictional history rife with conflict and chaos, the story revolves around a sappy young woman who doesn't forget to laugh and chases after true love, even as she gets caught in the love triangle. Through her journey, she grows into a loving person and thwarts an evil scheme in the pugilistic world. Unique Lady Season 1, Part 1 The play was adapted from Orange popular game Lust Daughter. It tells the story of a female house across the game world to find true love. Among an abundance of good men to choose from, there is but a sole man whom she simply loathes. The barbarian, Yuan Kingdom's Prince Zhong Wu Mei Bin, with whom she winds up in an arranged marriage. And so begins their love hate relationship and her journey to find true love in order to win the game and finally return home. Well, that's our top 10 Chinese historical dramas with funny and romantic stories. Exciting, isn't it? Don't forget to note the title. See you on the next video.